Okay, game three. Okay, we've got a speedy guy. Speed, speed, speed. We'll take pawn drop straight down here. Push. Takes. Take pawn drop straight down. Knight can't jump anywhere. Which continuation is it to be? Is it any of those? Do we go for a simple pawn takes, takes, and uh, no castling of the king? Hmm. Or is it just developing the knight? And then this pawn drops onto the knight. Which one do we want to go for? Hmm. <laughs> Or do we just take this pawn here with the knight? Interesting situation. Then they take here. Let's have a look. Takes. Takes. Bishop attacks the pawn here. Knight comes out. Or maybe it goes to there, defending. Or the bishop comes out, attacking. Interesting times. I think I'm plumping more for this one. What do you think? Take. Drops down onto the knight. this pawn's not open so it's not supporting so the knight can't go there let's have a look at it again takes pawn drops knight goes here pawn could simply just attack the knight and again where does the knight go uh, I suppose it could go here but it's getting chased around a bit isn't it Ooh, well, okay, let's take. Pawn drops, jump, and just see how it land, how the land lies after that. Ah, that's interesting. I think he's coming for this old thing, isn't he? Disturbing my king. Oh, well, maybe not. All right, let's just see if we can castle them. I didn't think we were going to get Kathleen rights at all. Excuse me. Still feels a bit murky, but maybe the opponent's more scared of the position than I am. So I'm going to attack the bishop. Obviously the knight's coming in here because he's got loads of pieces around. Captures? I'm really shocked. But we're not winning, I'm just shocked at the fact that um, I think potentially had a bit of an advantage. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece usually can't be wrong small move here attacking the pawn 
Pawn takes. Pawn takes. Maybe the knight takes. Knight takes. Then the rooks come charging him. Don't really want to put the queen here because the rooks are going to come charging in up. Move the king, let him have the pawn. Nah. <laughs> Move the queen, but I'm not linking up my rooks. This is the troublemaker, isn't it? This here. So if we go up, rook comes across. I try and get the rook active, supporting. Then he drops the pawn. On his own, our knight and the pawn. Go and attack the bishop. like it I don't like it at all nope not a fan of this position yet again how did we end up in this position that's the question probably a little bit too what's the word now in the opening probably moved a little bit too quick and didn't look at the setup properly yeah look at that rook straight in there is really wanting to go for it but I'm um, believing there's something, I mean pawns dropping obviously, go and attack I don't think he's got enough there maybe the knight, oh the queen's moved out of the way for him so we do have a little bit of an attack here if we wanted to do that it's attacking the pawn and then he drops down to attack the knight push the pawn we have a discovery with the bishop. I don't think that's going to work, is it? Uh, let's just do that, do that anyway. Let's do that anyway. Let's see what happens. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece. Can't be wrong. We're sticking with that. There's the element of attacking their bishop here. But we did say we we're going to push here, but is he like putting 50 million pieces on there now? So we push up, then his pawn pushes down. Then obviously we can push up, we're on his queen. Okay, let's go with that. Gets the knight involved, tacking the pawn down the bottom, attacking this pawn. Ooh, it's all kicking off. Queen's gone back around again, so now we've got a fork here. But it's not a very good fork because you see the knight. So we go there, fork on the queen and the bishop. If the knight takes, which it probably will do, if the knight takes, or even the bishop takes. And we take back his queen can take and we do have the knight and the rook there okay right let's go with that see if that works for us <coughs> one of these will take so I'm, I'm assuming we can maybe get an advantage out of it maybe fingers crossed anyway this might be one of those where you should have looked at it. If he takes, we take. If 
the knight takes is on our queen. We take the queen. Rook takes and then the rook takes. Yeah, that seems to work for us. But they never do what I say, do they? At all, in any way, shape. And we're so used to that. Okay, so the bishop takes, so we'll take here, going for that continuation. Knight, well, oh, actually, let's take him with the. So if we go here, then he's not going to take the pawn now. Giving space for the bishop to take his knight. Damn, I was just about to say. Oh, okay, they've resigned. Whew! Do you know, quite enjoyed that one. We covered off. Cut off, covered off all the areas that potentially they were looking to attack and to me we didn't do anything the opponent gave us those positions with the constant moving of their queen and we were just building up a nice attack they placed their queen in a position where you have to be able to spot these things you know nice fork with the pawn onto the bishop and we realized that the continuation was going to be a little bit advantageous for us uh, with the move order of things so yeah really pleased with that one we'll move on to the next one so currently it's two for us and one for the tournament our virtual tournament so two one at the moment we have two more games to play let's see how we get on with them